Generally I'm a, a painter, but that is my profession as a visual artist, I, I mainly paint pictures. Um, my methodology in painting involves using traditional uh, painting methods, which is primarily oil paint and brushes. Well, my vision of the Icon building is that it's like the experience that anyone would have when they're walking through the street, is to be able to look up and see something that's interesting to look at, to see something that is, in its sense, iconographic, or can be seen as sort of a marker to where to go, or where to, you know, or as a reference point. And so from that point of view, I sort of, I see the building functioning as a, almost like a sculptural entity, rather than just another glass faceless building. I became involved in the project uh, by invitation of the architect who was designing the building uh, prior to the building being passed to being built. So at that early stage I was to look at the colour, the external colour of the building and how that colour would relate to St Kilda and also to the building fabric as well. I've had a fair bit of experience uh, working with architects and designers in integrating art into architecture. I suppose I'm inspired by colour and light and, and the differences in how colour and light change from, from minute to minute, from day to day, from season to season. And that seems to me to be an ongoing process. It's like going to St Kilda in the morning, for example, as the sun rises and, and sends sparkles out onto the, onto the water to actually when the sun sets and washes everything in a pink light. And there's not too many buildings that take a brave approach to actually having a colour palette based on an artist's uh, interpretation of the colour, but also incorporating that colour actually into the building, the external building plane of the building. Um, whereas it normally be heavily designed, this has actually a very personal human language to it. And it's relating to the sort of different stratums within uh, elements of, you know, from green of a leaf that happens to be in the park opposite the icon site. It could actually be the reflected light on a building surface, picking up the, the light of an old painted historic building and the sort of pink light of the sun bleaching it with its own natural sort of form of light. Um, it could be a cloud or a series of cloud colours and it could certainly be the different colours of the ocean or the sea, or the bay as we call it. As we know, every day that you go walk out and down the street in St Kilda, the colour changes. 